Hey YouTube, this is a short video about a uh, refueling solution that I saw on DIY uh, channel and I'll put the link down below in the description and uh, it's, a, it's a very good solution for me right now with the new tractor, the L2501. I just need some way to transport the diesel cans and the ethanol free gas can to the gas station get it there and back you know safely and, and stable and have stability so um, you know one thing I do regret I got this diesel can which is a different shape than these these were all a tractor supply but you know I couldn't find this, I got this one first, but I couldn't find uh, additional ones, so I had to go with this other shape. Not a big deal, but I'll have to modify the, uh, the rack. So what this is going to do is it's going to go into my pickup truck, and then I'll have bungee cords to keep everything basically stable, and that way I can get fuel. So I'll take you along for the ride. Okay, uh, I'm going to use Craig Jig here for the pocket hole screws. And the first thing I do is I sit it, set the height at one and a half inches. I also set the drill depth to one and a half inches for the pocket holes. I have the uh, dust collection shroud on it and the clamp to keep it steady. I want to make sure that this is tight. And then I have the two and a half inch Craig screws. So I'll go ahead and set that up and film as I do that. Okay, I'll start from that corner right there and I'll start measuring and putting in the uh, the cans because the the cans are going to have to tell me how long that I need this uh, two by four that goes across. Okay, I've measured out and spaced them out. You can see the diesel cans, three of them to the left. That one uh, ethanol free gas can for the small engines there. So it's coming together went ahead and pocket screwed that corner over there put in some spacer blocks to measure between because that, that's really how it's going to all keep it, keep everything steady so I'll go ahead and measure that and then I'll cut off that end that first diesel can is longer than the others I'm going to have to put in some filler 2x4s all along the back here um, you know, unfortunately I didn't get the right size cans the same size cans. But, you know, we have to work with what we've got here on the homestead. Stay tuned. Okay, I measured it out. It's 48 inches. So I, I'm going to cut both boards at the same time. Okay, now I'm going to attach this one and attach on the other end and start, uh, I'll probably just use deck screws for the separator 2x4s. I'm not going to use pocket holes. Ok, 
kind of awkward here in the middle. Now I'm thinking about I, I probably should have used some glue. But this will be stored inside, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, go ahead and do a dry fit here. Okay, the whole box is put together and all the slats, separators are in place. Now I just need to do a little bit of tweaking. I did uh, just put a little bit of a reminder that this is the top left front. That's where this odd one comes in, just so I know where to place it in the truck. Uh, as I mentioned, these are not exactly the same size, so I've got a gap in there. And what I'm doing here is I'm putting in a 2x4 right up against this gas can, and I'm shimming with a half inch plywood just to get the screws in, and then I'll take that out, um, and then I'll go down the line, and there's two more that I need to put in another 2x4. Uh, so we'll keep you posted. Alright, getting very close to finishing. As you can see, I have put in some uh, 2x4s because uh, the other gas cans that I got are just a little bit uh, shorter in length. So I had to use some shims of plywood. There's three and a quarter inch plywood in the middle too. And I'll go ahead and uh, screw those in with deck screws. Fits like a glove. Two more, two more screws and I think I'm done. It's, it's raining outside so I, I won't be able to show until later how it's rigged up in the truck. But it should be nice tomorrow so I'll finish this video tomorrow. Get it started. And I'll get the other one started. Ugh. It's going too fast. There we go. All right, let's 
see if that fits. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and do a full fit. Perfect project for a rainy day. And there we go. Take a look around. That's the pickup truck gas and diesel fuel carrier solution. Again, I'll put the gentleman who is responsible for this design in the comments below. And I like a lot of what he's doing. He has a Kubota L2501 as well. And I'm going to build his uh, super versatile carry-all in the very near future. Because that is much needed. Okay. So I'll go ahead and rig it up in the truck once it stops raining. Oh, man. Here in North Carolina. And lots of uh, water draining, but that's fine. Take a look at my drainage videos. Everything's working fantastic. That's one of them. Okay. I'll show you how I rig it up in the truck once it stops raining. Okay, YouTube. I think I'm done with this uh, fueling solution for the uh, Kubota L2501 uh, new tractor that I have. And it probably will work for anybody who has a tractor or who needs to go get some fuel. Uh, right now I've got four cans, uh, three diesel, and one large uh, uh, ethanol-free can, uh, but all five gallons each. So that's what I want to uh, be able to, you know, go to the country store here that has red diesel and ethanol-free for my small engines and be able to, you know, quickly fill up uh, and get on with the, the work. So I'll show you basically how it's all set up and uh, that should do it for the video. Okay, first step is to put in the frame. Again, that's what the frame looks like. And I have it labeled red diesel. This is the top left. Red diesel, red diesel, and then ethanol free gas. These are uh, shims were put in there because the cans are different sizes. So basically center it. That's the gas. These are the smaller diesels. And the larger one. Got some bungee cords from Harbor Freight. So we'll see how that goes. It, my truck bed is, has got some texture to it, so it shouldn't slide too much. What I might do is put on some, uh, some rubber material on the bottom to provide more friction if things slide around. So we'll see how it goes in the first application. Signing off for now.